Today on The Daily Dose, the Easter Offensive. After the North Vietnamese Tet Offensive of 1968, which took American and South Vietnamese forces by complete surprise, by late 1971, U.S. Commander General Crichton Abrams and other top military leaders believed another offensive by the Communist North was in the planning stage, if for no better reason than to strengthen their bargaining power at the ongoing Paris Peace Accords. From a timing standpoint, Crichton believed the North Vietnamese would launch another Tet-style offensive on or near the January 31st celebration. But instead, the enemy attacked with unexpected veracity in what became known as the Easter Offensive. Beginning on March 30th and ending on October 22nd, 1972, the Easter Offensive began when North Vietnamese forces engaged in a simultaneous three-front invasion of South Vietnam, characterized by conventional infantry armor assaults backed by heavy artillery. Employing some 200 to 300,000 North Vietnamese soldiers, an invasion force not seen since the Korean War, when some 300,000 Chinese troops crossed the Yalu River into communist-backed North Korea. Conceived by North Vietnamese military planners, the First Corps tactical zone soon overran South Vietnamese defensive positions in a month-long battle that saw the city of Quang Tri fall to northern forces, before moving south toward the city of Hue. At the same time, the North Vietnamese Second Corps Tactical Zone advanced toward Kong Tom City in an attempt to split South Vietnam in two, while the Third Corps Tactical Zone saw North Vietnamese forces take Luc Ninh before advancing on the capital of Binh Long Province at An Lac. As the offensive unfolded, April proved to be a month of advances for the North, while May witnessed a period of defensive equilibrium and resupply for the North's newly captured territories. June and July, likewise, saw a period of counterattacks by American and South Vietnamese forces, leading to the September recapture of Quang Tri. And although early North Vietnamese successes were deemed impressive, the North Vietnamese experienced high casualty rates due to inept tactics and the increasing application of U.S. and South Vietnamese air power culminating in Operation Linebacker, which was the first sustained bombing of North Vietnam since November of 1968, making the Easter Offensive of 1972 one of the deadliest events in the Vietnam War. And there you have it, the Easter Offensive, today on The Daily Dose. If you like learning something new every day, subscribe to The Daily Dose on YouTube or sign up for emails at dailydosenow.com.